How's it going everybody? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Signature Collection Bat Zaro figure from the Maddie Collector exclusive Club Infinite Earths line. Um, yeah, so just got this guy in today and I want to do the review right away. So here we go. This is the final figure that we're getting from the monthly subscription. There are four other figures which will be come, coming in quarterly next year. I believe the first one's January and that is Aquaman, 90's Aquaman. And then you have Ice, and then you have um, Connor Kent Superboy, and then finally Damian Wayne. So, with that being said, let's take a closer look at Bad Zaro here. Um, yeah, not really sure the uh, in the <laughs> decision making process if this was the the uh, the way to go to end the line. I mean, if this is going to be how the line is remembered, technically it's ending with this figure. But yeah, I mean, he looks he looks our. I mean, I like the cape. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap issue here with the uh, with it getting staying flush here. I kind of have to tilt his head down to keep it. Uh, the cape flush with his neckline there, but uh, I mean he does come with one accessory and that's uh, his uh, batarang here. Bat Zaro Rang, I guess you want to call it that. It's actually pretty nice. I like this style of batarang, I'll just call it. But that's the only accessory he comes with as far as the packaging goes. Let me get that in here as I'm shaking the entire table all over the place. And now I'm bumping the camera, and so, okay, there we go. Uh, uh, he comes in his nice white mailer box. Focus, thank you. There we go. And it says Bad Zaro on it, pretty self-explanatory. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> Here comes the uh, window display. It says Bad Zaro on the bottom. My camera's having focusing problems today. Uh, on the side, really nice artwork. This is some of the best artwork that... Uh, I've seen uh, for an action figure and it's too bad that this is the last figure that we'll see. On the back you have his little read up here. I'm actually surprised he didn't come with any guns but oh well. We're lucky to have a battering I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah I really do like this this artwork. It's very nicely done. So enough of that. Let's get that out of the way. Bring Bat Zaro back in here. And uh, yeah, so he does look pretty cool. And uh, I believe the, there's uh, one other version of this character and that's a uh, DC Direct figure. The, there is a DC Direct version of him. So if you're looking for a, uh, another version of Bat Zaro, maybe a bigger, uh, a little bit of less articulation, then I would go with that version if that floats your boat or sinks your ship or all that stuff. But with this figure, let's get to his articulation. It's pretty basic DCUC articulation, but I'll go through it anyway. His head does move side to side, and it can do a full 360. It does look up pretty well, I think, and it does look down nicely. So, pretty good range of motion in the head. Let's see if he has any tilt. No, nothing like that. Um, his arms do go up, down. They can do a full 360 if you want. A little bit of a hinderment from the uh, cape here it does have a, a bicep swivel, a single bend at the elbow, and a wrist rotation. Um, his ab crunch is pretty basic and it does work nicely. Mine's just a little stiff. He does have a waist swivel, T joint hips which go out. Mine's a little stiff, forward and back. Upper thigh swivel, single bend at the knee, and an ankle hinge. So there you go. So there you go, he doesn't really have any problems standing or anything like that. Not really, he's not too back heavy. He's, uh, I think he's balanced pretty well. And yeah, I do like that they uh, they went with the white inside the cape and the black on the back to uh, really give that, uh, the accuracy to the character. Looks good. Looks pretty good, I mean he's pretty self-explanatory. Um, what you see is what you get. Like I said, he does hold his battering very nicely. Let me just get it in his hand here. Oh. Keep popping out. Stop it. So he does hold his battering nicely in both hands, actually. 
My, my figure is just really stiff for some reason. I'm not sure why. But uh, there you go. He holds it nicely. You can get it any way you want, really. And uh, as far as paint goes, he's kind of got the uh, white gray, grayish wash. Um, not really any shading or anything like that. Um, let me zoom in really close and show you the face here. So, and as you can see, let me get in. Kind of looks like an alien a little bit <laughs> from Alien. <laughs> you know, the bat alien. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the face is pretty well done. I mean, it's it looks like a very simplistic uh, sculpt. Not too much. A little bit of a slop right there on the side of the face, but nothing too too bad. You know. Nothing too bad. And he does have the upside down bat symbol, which you can see. Um, I'm pretty sure that everything on this body was pretty much a reuse from a Batman figure, except for the uh, new, newly sculpted upside down futility belt, I believe it's called, and uh, the upside down bat symbol, which is just painted on. It's not uh, sculpted or anything like that. So, and the uh, the new original cape, which I'm actually thinking about buying another one of these bad Zaro figures and possibly swap this cape out, repaint it, and put it on a, on a different Batman figure. Just to give a little bit of a, you know, different look to a, maybe a Batman figure that has the same cape, you know? So let me bring in some other figures and we'll do some size comparisons. I'll be right back. And here we are back and here he is standing next to the first appearance Batman, one of my favorites. And uh, as you can see, they're pretty much, I don't know, first appearance Batman's a little bit taller. Just maybe, I'm just counting the head now from where the head ends, not the ears. If I wanted to count the ears, then maybe Bat Zaro's got them by a little bit. But So there you go, there's, there's one. Set him aside, and we have the dynamic duo Batman. And as you can see, dynamic, they're about pretty much around the same height. So there you go. And as you can see, they do have a different color gray suit on so the grays do differ and finally we have the well no not finally because there's one more uh we do have uh <laughs> um what was it uh the elseworld batman here as i'm forgetting his official title i don't know why but uh there we go that this Batman's pretty tall actually because I think the head's a little bit bigger it's actually a lot bigger but uh, makes this Batman much taller so there you go you have your size comparison there and then let's bring in why not bring in Bizarro there we go so there you go <laughs> you have the world's dumbest right here as I like to call them <laughs> So there you go. You could do a, a little display with them, maybe. World's dumbest. And uh, yeah, they look pretty cool. I do like them together. Look pretty nice. And uh, so yeah, if I had to rate this figure, I'm probably gonna give him, I don't know. I mean, he's... It's a little disappointing that he's just the last figure. You know, it's kind of like a womp 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 womp, you know? And then where's the slime? But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from the figure because I, I do like the head sculpt. It looks pretty nice. And, you know, the futility belt is uh, <laughs> pretty cool. But other than that, he's pretty much a basic reuse of this Batman right here. And I'm going to toss in the background. And uh, maybe, I mean, the, the cape is obviously different. The head sculpt is different. The symbol is repainted. And he does have a new belt. So, I mean, there is some differences there. So, I, I don't want to say he's a direct clone because he's not. But the body, the buck, is basically a reuse. That's all I'm just trying to say. Um, so, with that being said, if I had to rate him, I'm probably going to stick with a 7.5. I think it's still he's still a good figure. Um, I, I mean, you could it's totally passable if if you know you don't really care that much about a a uh, 
anti version of Batman, the opposite version of Batman, then I would totally pass on him. If, if you want to pair these two up, then by all means, go out and get it. It would make sense to do that. Or if you're a Batman fan, I would go out and get it. Why not? And he does come with a cool battering, which I do like. <laughs> so there you go. There's my review of the DC Signature Collection Bat Zaro figure. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the flip side.